Hi, I'm Michelle Newman, the Psychic Sound Healer, here with the Love Vibe. This is part four of my series, Meet Your Spirit Guides. And part four is very interesting because I've just returned from Mount Shasta. In Mount Shasta, some of you may know about the, the, the group, the people, the Lemurians. They live inside Telos and I'm a Lemurian. I came to Telos when the continent of Lemuria was sinking 10,000 years ago, something like that. There is a whole group of beings living inside the mountain in the city of Telos. Author Diane Robbins, a very good friend of mine, has written many books about this. And other people have written books. If you've been to Mount Shasta, you will definitely see books about Telos, and I'm sure you can find them everywhere, on Amazon, of course, and all kinds of places. So the beings that live in Telos are human, and they keep themselves very separate. They are not part of those living on the surface. And if you read books about them, they will say, we stay underground, we stay down below. We're here sending blessings. We're here to help and they have developed incredible technologies. They live to be, some of them, thousands of years old. They live to be um, healthy and strong for hundreds to thousands of years old. And I have definitely role modeled my life after staying healthy and strong. I intend to live a long, healthy life, strong as could be, and uh, I'm not young by human years, but I'm healthy and strong for my age. So I've learned a lot from them, and there's so much more to learn. The reason I'm bringing them up is because I am in contact with my soul pod who live in Telos. My soul pod are the beings um, who are in my particular pod, my soul pod. Uh, we are all connected. They're my family. They're my relatives. And I've gone up to Mount Shasta, Shasta for many years. The first time that I ever met the beings who live there my husband and I were camping on the mountain in what is now called Southgate, used to be called Squaw, and we were up above the meadow, up above the valley, and we were just camping for a week or so, and we had backpacked in there, we had our backpacking food, and so we made dinner, and we were sitting there, and I looked up in the little grove of trees right next to us, I was sitting here, as you see me, and they were right behind me that way, right over there in a the little grove of trees. Mm, yes, they're contacting me right now, speaking with me. They're saying thank you, lots of blessings. Hmm. They talk to me every day. Every day I am in touch. I meditate every morning with my soul pod. And I looked up from our dinner, and I went, oh, look, to my husband, there's a whole group of beings in there. There's a whole, and they said, welcome, we are, your, we are your family, we are here with you. And they sat there with us, it's like we were having dinner together. It was really amazing, because I could see them all. And then one of them stepped forward and introduced themselves to me, and he said, I am Uwa, and when I was in body, I was your grandfather, your grandfather Julius, my father's father. 
And I went, oh, wow, <laughs> amazing. I was, I was really surprised by that. I never knew my grandfather, Julius, and my father didn't know his father. And he introduced me and he said, well, I'm not the being that I was when I was in a body as your grandfather. And he told me about what it was like living in Telos and how beautiful it was and how amazing uh, there's crystals under there and bright light there's a central sun and it's eternal spring it's always just lovely weather and how the beings stay calm the beings are living a life that humans on earth wish that they could live it's a beautiful life they live you can read about it in Diane Robbins books and I was so honored that he came to introduce himself to me instead of Julius, my grandfather. He is now by, called by his spirit name, Uwa. So I was thrilled with that meeting and with the other beings. And then um, later, when this was, oh, I, oh, when we got down off the mountain, I called my brother and I said, you wouldn't believe what just happened, but... I met Grandfather Julius, and he lives in the mountain, and my brother went, yeah, okay, that's cool. <laughs> I'm not sure how much he bought into it, but he heard me, and he listened, and he thought it was really cool that I'd been in contact with Julius. Uwa. So fast forward, um, more beings have come to me when I have been on Mount Shasta and go there a lot, and they talk to me. I will tell you about a few more in a few minutes. Um, first, I want to say that when my father passed away, because I had been so used to contacting my mother and used to speaking with spirit guides, my father said, "Guess within two days of his passing, he said, guess where I am? I said, where? He said, I'm in Telos. And I went, wow. Dad, I didn't know you were Lemurian. We never talked about that while you were alive. And he said, well, I didn't really have the skills. I didn't know that much about it. And uh, I wasn't able to let you know, but it's true. Uh, I'm Lemurian, and I'm in your soul pod. And his name, my father, whose name was Harry, is now uh, called by the spirit name Alama. Alama. And so he talks to me. Uwa talks to me. And then I learned that my father's mother, um, who was named Minnie, my grandmother, and I knew her, she's come, I mentioned her in the last uh, series of my spirit guides uh, about ancestors, and she's come to me a lot, and I learned she's also Lemurian in, in, in the mountain Telos. So uh, my father, my father Alama, his father Uwa, and my grandmother Minnie, who is now called um, Malaya, Malia, Malia is her name. And so those three, and then out of that group that had come to me originally, some of them have stepped forward. One of them is on this side of me. When I do a morning meditation, they create a circle around me. I look around and I see a circle and his name is Manu, and he looks like kind of like an old hippie, long beard. He's um, really just kind of a little bit scruffy looking, not scruffy, but jeans and, you know, an old shirt. And then behind me is a new one that just came to me this summer. Her name is Gala, and she kind of stands in the circle just a little bit behind me. And then someone that I was able to take a walk with, like a girlfriend, like we'd go for a walk on the beach. And her name is Kiana, and she's over here. And Kiana and I are buddies, just like my girlfriends and I are buddies. We're just like sisters. And then on this side, I have um, two people, Miaushki and Mastika. Miaushki and Mastika are, uh, also, were also on the planet as uh, humans, and I knew them when I was a little girl. They were friends of my parents. They were part of a spiritual group that my parents belonged to. Um, Maybell and Murray were their names when I knew them, and I remember seeing Maybell 
uh, when I was 20. She was a very old woman, and she's passed away, but now she's come to me as um, as Mastika, and Murray is Miauski, and um, I was really good friends with them when I was younger. And um, so we have Kiana and Gala and Manu. Uh, Kiana and Gala and Manu have never been in a human body. So I have some beings that have been in human body and some that have not. I, I'm telling you this, these stories about how I have all these beings around me because you too have many different beings. You have many different beings. And the way that you can contact them isn't to say, oh, well, I want to talk to you. Come and why aren't they coming to me? And so what I would like to suggest is that you simply be still in meditation and pay attention and look around. If you feel a movement, you might, sometimes people feel little movements or energy or maybe someone touching you or maybe just a vibration or a lot of people I know feel hear tones in their ear and they're being contacted or you might hear a voice or you may have a dream just sit back and say I am open and ready I am open and ready for my spirit guides and please remember they don't all come at the same time when you watch my series of meet your spirit guides we're talking about 25 30 years 35 I don't even know 35 years of different beings coming to me. So your job, if you want to meet more spirit guides, is simply to be patient and create an intention, ask for them and say, I'm ready and willing and open and available and ask for it in your dreams and they will come. Thank you so much. I wish you the very best in your journey of meeting your own spirit guides. And if you are interested, I can certainly help you with your spirit guides because I can see guides around people. I see different angels, different guides, and I'm happy to assist you with that. My email is right here on this page, and you can email me and ask me for a session if you wish, and I will help you find your spirit guides. And so I wish you many blessings and a beautiful journey through your own spirit. I'm Michelle Newman, the Psychic Sound Healer, here with the Love Vibe.